It's March already, and for this video, I thought I'd paint a fembot because this one's theme is March of the Machines. For those that don't know what a fembot is, it's a fictional female robot that appears in many science fiction movies, novels, and video games. The concept of a fembot has intrigued people for years, with many wondering what it would be like to have a robot that could do anything. There are many different interpretations of what a fembot should look like, and this has led to many different variations of the character. Some people believe that a fembot should look like a woman, with curves and human-like features, while others prefer a more robotic look, with a metallic exterior and no human features. One of the most fascinating aspects of a fembot is its ability to mimic human emotions and behaviours. In some depictions, a fembot can act and think just like a human being, including experiencing emotions, expressing empathy, and forming meaningful relationships. However, the concept of a fembot also raises questions about ethics and morality. Should we create robots that look and behave like humans? What happens when the line between human and machine becomes blurred? Would such a robot be used for good or evil? With advancements in technology, we are getting closer and closer to creating robots that resemble humans in many ways. Already, there are prototypes of robots that can simulate crying, laughing, and even singing. With further progress, it's only a matter of time before we see real-life fembots. But what will be the impact of these robots on our society? Will they help us or harm us? The fembot is a fascinating concept that has captivated science fiction fans for many years. From its ability to mimic human emotions to its potential impact on society, the fembot raises many intriguing questions that we must consider as we move forward into the future. What is your interpretation of a fembot or a futuristic android? Do you prefer them to look exactly like us, similar in Blade Runner and Battlestar Galactica? Or depicted in Metropolis with its Art Deco style? Or the T-800 exoskeleton in Terminator? Whatever the interpretation is, it's definitely a fascinating thought. So what are your thoughts on robots? How far away do you think it'll become a reality, or if ever? Unfortunately, I don't think I'll live long enough to see a fully functional humanoid robot in my lifetime. But you just never know, hey? Well folks, looks like we've come to the end of another video. If you'd like to support me, you know what buttons to hit, and I'll see you guys in the next video. So until then, be kind, keep practicing, and enjoy being creative. Now if any of you are wondering why I have a Vegemite jar amongst my art supplies, I don't actually have a Vegemite in it, although I probably should have. I actually have my graphite shavings in there.